Okay, folks, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Uh, uh, are you ready for this? Uh, uh, oh, come on, Dr. G. <laughs> hey, that girl got too much energy for me. He said, hey, you guys. I have energy too for much days. Energy. <laughs> and then, people, it's your boy, Dr. G. And then, Cherie. And you're tuning to another Dr. G show. This is episode two. As we bring into you the new episode of my girl. Nursery. And I'm really enjoying it. Listen, man, we got a brand new topic for you. Um, as we talk about my boy Ray J. Yes, Ray J. Ray J. Make me want to cry. He's been a bad boy. Bad I don't know why people, <laughs> why did he do this? I, don't, I just can't understand. He's bought a new hit single and it's doing well because everybody's interested in what he said but he, of course because you know it's a new single you know and things fresh we haven't heard about you in a while so we're like oh you know what's going on you know but the title of this single i hit it i hit it i, I hit it. it first first i'm, <laughs> I'm sure kim had first. somebody before him but yeah i don't know why i hit it first but i to me i don't know why he went into this or why did he do this i don't know I don't even know where this is stemming from, really and truly. Because, I mean, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, how long has it been since well, they broke up? To my understanding, it's like 10 years ago. 10 years ago? 10 years. A decade. A decade. <laughs> I right? Didn't even, I didn't even know it was that long. He's but supposed to done move on. Decade is a long had time. Children. <laughs> ran children. More children. <laughs> and more children. <laughs> Set out your farm. <laughs> I mean, I think, you're supposed to have I, I done know, think, different things and moved on in your life. That's all I'm trying to say. Really. <laughs> I think Kim, I think, I think um, Ray J has been hurting for 10 years. I think that really is. When I, when I saw the song, mm -hmm. I see a man in pain. A lot of pain. And he, and he shows me to say that men don't deal with their emotions. No. Well. They don't. I mean, some men do. Have to give it out but there. but in general but men don't really because men don't some that's what i'm saying some men do but some men don't actually give it the time to deal with the most they think you know what? i'm man we could have shrug it off mm -hmm. you know and then, it's, deep, then it just comes back to the surface 10, yeah. 10, 10, 10 years later and sometimes i must say it can be worse i mean yours is not the worst but he must have put a lot of thought into it though to write a song yeah to yeah. sit down and yeah. write a lot of thought. A lot of thought, a lot of emotions I flooding hate, back. I, and the best thing could have come out with. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I hate it first. I hate it first. I mean, it's just um the fact that you, the way how it looks and everything is like, you really, really he had time desperate. to. He looks Like, you really thought about it. You really had time to um to come up with, um, what was it? Some of the lyrics were like, um I put it on her, I put it on her, I put mm, it on that girl. girl. <laughs> I mean, what did you put on that girl? I don't I mean, know. I don't know. I think... First to me, I find the song very disrespectful to women. Yes. And I think all women, and then all women that? should stand up right now and speak out for this song to be banned. And for real. And then the next thing is that um, what do you say about um, I would do anything about an ass or something. Oh, he, he love, love, love. Oh, he what he. He could get any ass or something. Because like. he's, um, your, her ass is not the best ass or something. Some, something along that line. I, I love, about I love ass, her ass. What is I, think, I think some people... Um, in no, oh, I love anything with an ass. That is it. <laughs> I'm just thinking to myself, if you love anything with an ass, there's a lot of asses out there. I'm telling you, you clearly have not gotten over Kim's ass. So get over it. So... <laughs> get yeah, For real, get no. over it. I mean, it's... Move on. I mean, obviously you're still caught up with it. I think any woman, any guy mm -hmm. that has to go through this kind of um, thing in breakups, yeah. uh, and they got to use, they've got to use um, somebody else's, their ex's success, yeah. or to bash them, yeah, I mean, and, and to and to attack them, and to and and to. I don't. Know. And I mean, I don't know if you all are actually friends still, or mm. well, I'm assuming not really. <laughs> But I just don't know. I think if I'm you all not... are friends and maybe you all might have had a misunderstanding recently and then you decide to bring up that, I mean, is it really necessary? You definitely know you all can't be friends now. <laughs> uh, but you know the other thing is is that I look at it from a lot of breakups out there. A lot of people are going through a lot of breakups every day. And the funny thing is because they're not happy with themselves. You know, I think he was he's just really angry with himself. And if, yeah. if anybody's going to break up and you're angry with yourself because mm -hmm. you're thinking you give this person a lot of time. Yeah. You give this person um, 
all your emotions mm-hmm. and all you invested in that person. Yeah, and you took some time. You got you took time to get to know her. She knows you. Um, she really brought a good side to you and everything. And I don't know what you did, why y'all broke up in the first mm-hmm. place. And that might be one of the reasons why you um you're lashing out on yourself. And then you just you know you're lashing out in that way, but you're still exposing yourself. So, Making yourself look vulnerable. Yeah, I think, it's very I think any, anybody out there that bashes their exes, anybody, if you're bashing your ex, you better stop because do you believe bashing your ex is a good thing? No. That's it. I'm I, not saying that obviously we're all human. <laughs> and obviously there are times where you think, boy, I can't stand up this, that, and the other. And, and, and the, something you want to do all kind of things. Yes, it you you end up getting up or hype with all the expression mm-hmm. and emotion. Yeah. But it's what you do after that point that is the that is what it is what you do that defines you that moment because you know once you excel to okay you know what i made this decision Mm -hmm. we're not together have the capacity to think about it move on with you start investing in yourself you know something good positive will come out of this relationship i think let's look at look at look at kim for a little bit she's Go on. <laughs> she's, she's she's actually moved on with her life. Moved on. She's expecting a little, you know, family. They're creating a family at the moment. I mean, she's gone on doing what she needs to do. She's a happy. She's happy. I mean, what more can I really say? It's about you now mm-hmm. finding your happiness, Ray J. Ray J. And other but anyone come and else see that Dr. has G. Come, come and see a breakup Dr. or anything. You come and see Dr. G happiness. in nurseries if please. you want. Come. Please, come. We you will know? we will we will <laughs> soothe you and give you some. Give you some. Advice. But indeed, uh, indeed, the yeah. other thing is, you know, a lot of people out there, when they see the ex is doing well, yeah, it really hurts them. It really hurts them, and because they're not doing too well, they, because I haven't heard them from Ray J in a long time. Well, that is right. I was actually when you m- mentioned to me that oh, Ray J, he, I was like, oh wow, you know, that's that's, that's good, you <laughs> and know. Then you hear and the then, then, the I, then I, I heard the rest of it, and I was like, oh okay, cool. <laughs> what else can I say? I mean. <laughs> No, nah, so I'm going to tell you this, right? And one of the things I want you guys to learn from this video mm-hmm. while you're watching this, don't bash your ex. It's not good to bash your ex. Be calm, be happy with who you are as a person. Yeah. And the other thing is if you got respect for yourself, you would respect other people. And I think he just did, he was disrespectful to women and all women, every woman that's listened to this song, jamming to this song. I don't think they got, had much time to jam to it yet. They should, get, <laughs> they should, they should start banning this song because it's really disrespectful. It is very disrespectful. To women. I mean, it's like, I hit it first. It's Would like, you listen to that in your car? Ah, 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 hit it. You're riding down the road and you drop top and you... I mean, you know what's funny? That, I must say, no, I wouldn't listen to it. But what's funny is that sometimes you hear a song first time and you, I'm like, what a beat song. Are you, what? Are you, you like, bumping oh, your head? You probably, anything but you don't even take the time to listen to, listen to, to the, the words. words. That's why I always tell people, be careful of the words. It's, that you use. That's my. Definitely. I hope you watch my another video. You know, <laughs> because my video, powerful. But um, breakups are not easy. Okay, because you've you invested your time, you've invested your money, and your you energy, invested your energy, your emotions, your life. I mean, you've given a lot to this relationship, but is having the capacity to think about what you've done, making and I a think good. And think about it also. Um, you have to think about. What were you? What did you learn from your relationship? Because obviously you were in a relationship. What did you? What happened during the relationship? What growth have you made? Or progress oh, yes. have you made oh, yes. from the relationship? Where did it bring me to? You know? Where did it bring me to? That's a. What did you learn? And I think Reggie has learned, and it. <laughs> you don't learn nothing. You don't learn. Well, nothing. clearly not. So obviously, I think for him, it seems like he 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 just kind of doing a lot of flashbacks in his head, and he's like. Mm. Also, know, there is the publicity stunt too. Yeah, it's like a lot of flashbacks. He's like, hmm, I really had a good thing, you know. Mm, oh, that happens. I really good. Now. I really had a good thing, uh, and look how I messed it up. And like, you know what? Since I can't get her back, I might as well but do what I, I want to do. What is kind of thing. not in the right way, but you know. One of the things I always say: you can't live with no regrets, though. You can't have regrets. I yeah. don't believe in regrets. You gotta make live with the decisions you made mm-hmm. and move on from the decisions that you made. Please move on with the decisions that you've made. So if you decide to leave nursery, bye bye. You just pack your bags and move. That's why it's about. I mean, if you if that if, if you're planning to move on, I mean, just move on. But I'm not saying at the same time, you know, we are not saying it's easy. Mm. Nothing is easy, but no. it's giving give yourself some time to work it through. Very important. The same amount of time you invest in that person, invest in yourself. Very important. He didn't do that. So, no. He's just trying to do strategy and he's using it and making himself look so stupid right now. 
very much well as you said you even mentioned this earlier it might be a publicity thing so mm. who knows because i mean everybody loves the media loves the frenzy and everybody's saying okay if Kanye west is going to respond that's a big thing now i don't know if Kanye is going to well, respond but i guess we'll find out soon <laughs> well, let me, i want to hear your take so leave your comments on the video underneath and i want to know what you think do you think that bashing your ex is useful after they've broken up i don't think it's I, useful no it's not at all. It's but I want to know. So do you think if bashing your ex is useful? It's useful. useful. It's not useful. It's and what, not have you, necessary. Have you, <laughs> have you had any breakups that you were bashing your ex and you looked at? Tell us your experience on me this video. Please. Because anyway. Because it'd be really important. It's, trust me, it's good to have your input. We want to know uh, where you're coming from, mm -hmm. what's happening with you. Because, I mean, everybody has a different situation. Of course. I've got some exes. For real? Too many. <laughs> anyway, it's your boy Dr. G. <laughs> it's your boy Dr. G. And nurseries. <laughs> and you just tuned into another Dr. G's episode two with nurseries. Listen, don't forget subscribe to my channel. If you click like video, if you like when, what you just like, see. subscribe. You know, write a note underneath. Let us oh, know yes. what your feedback is. We want to know. You know. Interaction. She, I'll, I'll let her give you a little jiggy because I like to see it. See, I see how you're jiggling with me. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs>